Hello, everybody. It's me, Juniper Bloom Mystique. I am your Ascension Master, Master Healer, and Divine Guide. So what is up, Light Seers and Soul Warriors and Game Changers? I am not your regular starseed and light worker. I'm a little different, and the things I talk about are a little different. Some of you might be aware of this. Some of you might not. I um, am the one who brought about the ascension. I didn't just do it healing people. I did it changing the earth and healing people too. Um, I did things which are recorded. They happen through workshops, through my awakening journey. Spirit taught me how to do everything I know because it's already in me. Um, I didn't go learn from anybody else. I started doing things like changing the vibrations, moving the North and South Pole. I cleared Mount Shasta. Um, I rose Atlantis, which I died there. So I had to clear my own contract, watch myself die and process that. Then we sat on Saturn and rose Atlantis with Hermes, which was strange, right? Um, then I started activating pyramids. And then it began the twin flame journey, um, which I won't get into detail, but it was very strenuous, painful, and I barely survived. So I actually did almost pass away a couple of times, bringing about the ascension which is also why I'm very swollen. So you'll notice on my channel, I used to be much skinnier. When I my DM did die, my original one, and I took on that light and I swelled very badly. Um, so that's kind of who I am. That is why I'm a bit different um, than the way I look, I, the way I do. But it's also very relevant. And the things I bring about and I talk about are messages from the highest divine place for the purpose of having the correct information, but also ascending because life as we know it is not normal this time around, right? <laughs> we were the lucky ones that got to be um, alive and going through these crazy, crazy times. Um, so I'm honored, but I do ask that you give space for this. These things are recorded, they've been witnessed and they've happened over the last year. Um, to me and or actually more than a year. <laughs> wow, it's actually been more like three years. Um, oh, no, we're going into the fourth year already. Jeez, see how time flies. I spent over a year of that, though, fighting for my life with my DM and for the Ascension. So who I am again is not normal. So I just ask you guys to check out my channel, watch the videos on my channel, watch the Ascension playlist. All your answers are there. Okay, I promise you that. So today, this week, I have a message of balance, okay? And I have a message from Goddess Freya. And instead of doing a physical exercise, I am going to be doing a light healing exercise, a light activation, so that you guys can find your new center, okay? So this will be, at, and I didn't know this is what was going to come through, but I will be activating you to the new center of the new earth, Okay, because if that hasn't been done for you, it may be hard for you to find the new balance. Here's the message from Freya. Then I will pull some cards because spirit wants me to do that as well. And then I will do the healing for you. Okay, so it's all working in conjunction together. It's all very relevant for this week of ahead and the ascension energies right now where we are at um, at this stage of our ascension. Okay, so. Goddess Freya brought the message of balance for prosperity, which is a course that I did over in the beginning of my journey. They, they were also telling me create courses and I'm like, okay, so I would do that and I channel them. Um, not only are they courses, they have unique healing guided meditations you will find nowhere else. And so Goddess Freya is pointing to my course balance for prosperity. And here is her message. Excuse me. A new balance has formed and a new balance must be created as we rise out of energies that are no more. Must balance from a masculine and feminine standpoint now. Okay, so that's kind of the healing that I'm going to do. Not from an old existence of epically false proportions. Release the resistance, upgrade to the CNS, the central nervous system balanced forces. Okay. That's kind of your formula too. It's like upgrades to the CNS, releasing the resistance, help create balanced forces. Also e ego annihilation and DNA activations. Okay. So you're not going to be able to balance in this world. 
in the new earth anyways, unless you've had at least these particular healings and upgrades, first of all. Okay. Because 5D, and I actually took us into 7D, um, so it's a bit different, is not the reality you used to know. We were taught to be balanced in conformity and a false masculine energy and no feminine, really. Um, it was completely out of balance, which you can see in our existence. We came from a standpoint of money and false pretenses, egotistical behaviors, which are part of the shadow, not part of the light. Okay. So until you've come from a place of complete elimination and releasing of these things, we have to release the resistance of releasing these things, release them and heal, upgrade our central nervous system, balancing the forces within us, right? DNA activations and annihilating that ego a bit, then you can start balancing in the new world. Because with the twin flame journey and with the return of Christ, in essence, it was the return of masculine and feminine energy to this planet where it had been completely wiped out. It had been completely snuffed out with the death of Jesus. I talk about that. I resurrected him. If you watch my channel, you'll know how he died. I have videos of that. Okay. He didn't die for your sins. Please don't believe that. It's the biggest piece of shit um, they've ever fed you. It really is. And it's painful what they've done to people. Um, I redid the crystalline grid to a masculine and feminine one. I had to completely redo it as part of the ascension work that I have done. The, the moon and the sun also represent masculine and feminine. Okay. The yin and the yang represents masculine and feminine. And every time I move them like the moon and the sun, which I recently did, we have to rebalance. Okay. If you are a part of the new earth, you're going to feel these shifts. You're going to be experiencing these things. If you're not meant to stay, you probably aren't. Okay. Um, you're at least experiencing something. Okay. You can feel completely off, completely mucky. And it is because we have to attune into the masculine and feminine aspects of the planet, but of ourselves, we have to make sure that we are healed enough to balance enough. And then every time the earth shifts, we have to rebalance. Okay, this is a complete masculine and feminine planet, even though the masculine is very much behind. Um, they didn't do anything for the ascension, unfortunately. I really wish they did. Um, I got a new DM and I keep praying he's going to show and help. But in the meantime, we have uh, Malachi doing it temporarily. He can't do it much longer anymore is what he is saying. His job's almost like he's pushing the limit as it is. So unfortunately, I really wish I could get the masculine to care about God and the angels, let alone me, you know, because there's still a little bit of an imbalance, but not necessarily only for me, not necessarily the collective whole, um, because Malachi is helping correct that balance. So it's important right now, as these energies are coming in, it's Christ light activations. If you're not able to be in balance, you're not able to be receptive to them. Okay, that's another big part of this message. And what God is saying right now is if you're not in balance, you're not open and receptive to the incoming energies, you cannot receive the DNA activations. If, if we're not healed enough. Okay, and I talk about that over and over and over again. Okay, so this week's theme is a new form of balance. It's finding the new balance. It's not balancing from an old aspect. It's not balancing from an old perspective of go to work, work hard, money, money, money stress, 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 working for somebody else for a false matrix. If you're still a part of the false matrix, you're not in balance in the new earth. And you have a lot of healing to do and unbalancing to get through in order to upgrade and recenter and rebalance. So it's about finding our center, finding our new center, finding our new balance. Okay. So I'm going to pull some cards now and see what spirit has to say. Yep, a new structuring system is on its way. And if we don't release the resistance, we aren't going to be able to like unconform to the old ways and be open to the power that we are in the new world. Okay, a new structure system is on its way. The new world is about freedom, but there still has to be a balance. Okay, so when you get to know me and the work that I've done and what brought about the ascension, you can kind of see what undid the world before. And we came out of balance with the masculine and feminine. Okay. My DM 
fell prey at first to the false goddess and I wasn't strong enough. Okay. And there's been multiple lifetimes where the divine masculine and divine feminine were ripped apart. Okay. And that's what I had to bring back together and it's painful. So ascension has a cost. It has a price, right? We must feel the pain in order to rise in love again. Okay. But this is love rising. That's what it's supposed to be about is unconditional love rising and where you are out of unconditional love within yourself, we must rebalance. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. How do you have unconditional love? If you're not masculine and feminine, you can't. And, you know, we're going to get into a world where people are going to be like, oh, she's homophobic or she's this and that. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying you have to change who you are to be masculine and feminine. We already all are part of that. It's just healing what is not that and bringing us back into who we are. Okay. So I'm not changing you as a person. God doesn't judge that way. That's people. So keep that in mind. That's not me. Okay. Yeah. So the, the week's energy, that's what I'm talking about with this balance. And that's also what Freya is talking about is you can't have prosperity if we're out of balance, if we're not in the flow. And that is true. Just so very true. Okay. Um, so it's super important right now to be an internal explorer. Okay, this is how we're going to repair the balance. We must explore internally. Okay, internal explorer, right? We, we take our focus inward. We must explore internally. Okay, because that is how we find our way home. So this is the heart. This is very interesting because in my 21 day meditation deep dive, I'm undoing the layers of resistance that keep us from meditating, that keep us from, from healing into our body. And today's was about the heart. Okay. So in the tail end of it, we're going into the heart a lot. Um, and the heart is home. And I remember I used to say this is the heart is where the home is. Okay. That is where we connect to spirit. That is where we find the knowing. If you see the, the eye right above her heart, right? The eye is representative of all knowing. Okay. You can't see, you can't hear, you can't feel if you're not connected to home, if you're not balanced in the center. So it's important to be the internal explorer and connect to our heart space at this time. It's very important. Okay. If you can't do that, get the tools to help you get there. Reclaiming our energy. Okay. We must reclaim our energy at this time. If you haven't noticed, there's like a little bit of dark resistance going on. It's, it's a spiritual warfare. I've talked about that. It's what I had to battle the whole way through resurrection of Christ. It was not, it was not easy. It was very painful. Anybody who says, oh, they did it or they're Jesus. And they didn't go through what I threw and through like, fuck them. Okay. No offense, but as the person who really brought it about, it's not an easy journey. It hurt me very, very badly. It was a lot of, of negativity we had to clear. And that's my point. When I cleared the collective and individual shadow just to get there, and I'm going to talk about the shadow in a, in a day or two, it's something important coming up with that too. It's a lot of murk. It's a lot of muck. It's a lot of off center we have to get through and it's painful. Okay. And that's what I mean by there's a price to pay to feel love again. We got to go through that. We got to feel it. We got to move it through. Okay. And then we got to do the opposite. Okay. Because this is about bridging realms. Realm bridger. This is about mending the gaps that once were created that should not exist at all. And this is what I'm talking about with the balance. This is why it's so important. If I get off balance, that's when spirits like, bam, power moment, bam, bam. Because I throw off the collective soul. And that's a responsibility. And my DM is currently carrying that weight right now. Okay. I wish he would just fix it. I really do. I really, really, really do. People don't understand that. They don't understand that connection that he and I have. They assume it's like everybody else's. And assumptions are not good. Okay. The energy this week is truly about finding your way to your center, finding your balance within your heart space and bridging the realms of what once was into what is, okay? Reclaiming your energy, and that's how you're going to do it. That's how we're going to bypass those negative influences, those negative forces that are trying to keep us down. Misery loves company, and they're going to try and take everything they can with them. That's not a joke. It's like if they can hurt God, they will. And unfortunately, the DM has played into that. Okay. It's really sad. So it's important for you guys to understand this. 
within the collective, again, Malachi is holding that balance. Okay. So it's very important for you to know that it affects me more than it affects you guys because Malachi is holding the balance for you because my DM is not, I wish he was. So take the time this week to be an internal explorer. That's why I'm doing my 21 day meditation deep dive, because if you cannot go within, if you cannot explore your body, if you cannot bring in the energy, you cannot draw in the light, you cannot have DNA activations, you can't reclaim your balance within 5D or 7D. Most of you will only go into 5D in this lifetime, or at least inch your way closer to it, because that's what was expected. 7D is somewhere I took us I wasn't supposed to do, and it's going to take a couple lifetimes for certain people to acclimate. Okay, so just understand that we are evolving. It is evolution right now. Okay, <clears throat> these are important. All right. The only way to reclaim your energy is be an internal explorer. You can't do it from the outside in, which is why it always used to make me laugh when I would go to a doctor and they're like, I don't know what's wrong with you. Let's try this and this. They're not even on the inside of you. You know what I mean? Like, it's only on the inside can we find our home or the answers or the truth that we seek or the love that we need, okay? Bridge the realms that were broken. That's what this is about. And so we must reclaim our center. All right, so this week ahead is about reclaiming your center. When I do the healing portion of this video, you can do it more than once if you need to. But warning, it is powerful, okay? It's a gift that keeps on giving. Keep that in mind. Any healing that I do or anything is a gift that keeps on giving. It's not a one and done. It's literally Christ-like going in and changing your system from the inside out. Realm Bridger. All right, what else do we need to know, Spirit? Abundance is coming for you without a doubt. Not everybody, but you. And they're pointing, Freya is talking to me because I've worked really hard and they've told me this over and over again. And I'm like, yeah, right. I don't believe it. The DM didn't do what they said he was going to do. They said he was going to love me and come and he wouldn't hurt me. And that didn't happen. So I've lost faith a little bit and that's not good. And that's what I'm trying to get through. And I keep telling God, it's like, why go on? Why should I go on if the DM can't step up? I don't want him to kill me. Nobody understands my journey. I can't ascend without him. And if he's not ascending and they attach me to somebody I don't know who's choosing not to ascend, it's scary for me. And so I feel like that's why they're pointing towards these messages when they do that with me, because it's a big deal for me right now. Um, people don't understand the brevity and the gravity of the work that I've done. It's real. Okay. It's very real. <laughs> very. All right. So let's see. Burping is releasing. So do forgive. There's at least one more card in this deck. Hold on. Something's coming this week. Something will surface this week that will open people's eyes in a very big way. And that's what they're saying. Something is coming this week that is going to open people's eyes in a very big way. Number one, into who I am. And number two, into who you are. Because we're not what they taught us we were. Okay, Spirit, what else do I need to see? There's at least one more in this deck you're telling me. Show me what it is now. Blow on them, they said. Oh. <laughs> that was strange. They're like, blow on them, and then a bunch fell. And that's not the ones that I need. Ooh. And so the thing is, is I love my DM. So let's speak our truth, shall we? Okay. Let's be mindful to speak our truth because in truth, there was a time where I did not. And that can be detrimental. So when we're hurting, sometimes we say things we don't mean from a place of deep pain. And that happened with me too. 
Okay. I was hurt very badly, very deeply on this journey. And I said things we may not mean. We come from a place of deep, dark sorrow. And that's where I struggle the most. That's where people struggle the most is they look at people who are angry and who are lashing out as that is just who they are. And it is not. Okay. It is due to wounds, um, deep resistance, deep pain. Okay. And one more, and that is why we lash out. It's like, if we have wounds that are unhealed, we tend to hurt others with the same pain. Okay. Um, and so they want you guys to consider that. All right. Don't judge people. You need to consider they may be in a lot of pain. All right. The truth shall set you free. Okay. So isn't that what part of the message I said this week is some truths are going to surface for some of you. Okay. Trust. We must have trust, trust in ourselves, trust in our path, trust that it is purposeful. What is happening is meant to be happening. They're saying trust that everything's going to be okay. Trust that you're where you're supposed to be. And here's the thing is we have career. This reminds me of my path. I've been working very diligently on my career. But the thing about that is I had this ascension to bring through and I had no idea what was happening to me. And it was all happening to me at once. And I would go into this space of shit. I must, I must up, right? I can't get that back. And they're like, no, every little step you take, every little piece of work that you put in to your career, to your heart centered action, it is now for it to blossom. Okay. So it's like, it's like that tree. It's like you plant the seeds, you have to nurture it and, and, and water it and allow it to grow. And they're saying is that some of us, me and maybe others who have put a lot of time and space into something, this is what they're talking about. It's like balance for prosperity. Okay. The energy is there now for it to be very profitable. So what they're pointing to here is there's a false prophet falling. Okay. There's energy of false prophets, where it's almost like this veil that was over the collective whole. And this is part of what was difficult on my journey is people look at somebody like me and go, oh, she's crazy. When I'm actually the real one who brought it about, it was very painful. And I almost died. Like it was, I, I can't tell you guys the pain that I went through and to have people not recognize that is very painful. And then to have people look at somebody who just puts on a show for you and think that they're truly the prophet or, or somebody who has something it's scary. Right. And that's the energy that's falling. It's like now true abundance is there for people who are of the light. Okay. Where there was almost like a blockage. Okay. Good luck is on your side. Good luck is on your side. So you must trust Trust in the truth, trust in the wisdom, trust in the knowing, okay? Balance for prosperity is in the air right now because there is a new light all around us, okay? Be the internal explorer, reclaiming our, our energy the whole way. That's what I mean is we have to call back our energy. We have to reclaim it to recenter and find our true balance. You cannot balance in a new earth from an old world energy. You cannot do it cannot do it okay cannot balance in the new earth from an old world energy all right let's see what this has to say hmm. i have this song in my head and i think it's from my dm it's wide open spaces room to make a big mistake absolutely right like that's what happened is I got a new DM after my other DM died and he missed a mark. And because of my journey, I went into a very dark place with that. Like I have fought a hard fight and all I needed was love. And the DM has never given me love. And I feel like this song is a representation of is like unconditional love. I may make mistakes, but still love me. And I have been hoping to make him feel that. That's what I've been trying to do is saying a lot of Ho'oponopono prayer towards my new DM and just I love yous and an energy of creating new from now. It doesn't matter what happened before. And so I feel like that's relevant for everybody. Why do we hold on to the past? Why do we stop things from being new? Because we want to hold on to those things. We want validation from a wounded place. 
rather than new experiences from a place of love, okay? So yeah, maybe he missed a mark. But I don't want a new one again. I want my DM to show love to me and to the ascension, to the collective soul, to God, to Malachi, to put in some love like I have done at least a little bit, you know, just a little. That'd be great. That's all I'm asking. Because I'm understanding that I long for him in every way and every day that he's not here is what hurts me, okay? And I want you guys to consider that. It's like we've come from a place of external ego and we need to be in internal love, not judgment. People go right to judgment and assumptions, but that's how we've been taught, okay? And this is why we have to internally explore, call back our energy, let everything else go, focusing on our truth, trusting, okay? And healing that heart space. That's the only way you're going to find your new center. And then I got two cards. <laughs> I really like this one. This one's sacral chakra, but it's patient. So it's really not attuned to a chakra, but it's like a master card, right? It's patience. Patience is a big deal. It's like, I want something and I want it now on my DM journey. Oh my God, I could so be done because it's never happened. And they keep asking me for patience. And here I am with a new person. He didn't do what my old DM did. It's not a normal journey. It's a very difficult one. And so how do I have patience when I was supposed to already unite with my DM two years ago? <laughs> how do I have patience with a new soul? You know, how do you have patience? Do you have patience for yourself? Do you have patience for those around you who may not be where you are? Okay. Then we have fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael, heart space. You guys, I can't make these up. Sacral is about love, okay? There's a clock here, right? It's like, don't hold on to the space of time. You don't know when, you don't know what's going on. Let go of time, let go of expectations, okay? Be here and now. That is when things can come in, especially in the new earth. And this is also why all that law of attraction crap and all this stuff really isn't going to work for you anymore. It's not going to work for you anymore. Okay. We need to go into the heart space. You guys, I cannot make this card up enough. Like this is a reflection of your heart space, the true reflection of you, right? The mirror is at our heart space. It's shining from that space out. It's your central truth, your centripetal forces. Okay. Where your center of balance lies. That is the truth of you. It's getting to the truth of you right now. That's what the ascension is about. Okay, I can't, I can't. I've said that enough and enough and enough over in this message. So this week, some truths will rise. Okay. Um, and are you open to being receptive to them? Can you let go of time and expectations? And can you have wide open spaces and room to make mistakes? Can you love yourself within mistakes? Can you bridge the realms? from what once was to what should be because these are old energies that need to fall reclaiming our energy okay getting us home drawing the light in the more light you draw in the more you become part of the one okay yeah. now it's healing time so this was the message proportion if you don't want healing you can tune out now if you do want healing then this is for you by the way this is my new painting I'm going to give a little description of this painting. It's obviously a portal, right? And it looks like a masculine walking through. It's supposed to be me. And I, and I painted a masculine. That's kind of interesting, isn't it? This painting right here is actually filled with a lot of Christ light. So I recently did it as I was walking through the portal. Okay. So the portal of time, this is not just any Ascension portal. This is not, it wouldn't have been existed if I didn't open it. Okay. This is a very important painting where spirit had me chant it like it came through channeling and then it came through in my healing and all while I was painting it and I had no idea why spirits like you need to paint this so I started painting it and it wasn't near this for a while like right like I didn't I never really painted a lot I maybe have like a handful of paintings in my whole lifetime only since my awakening have I really been painting spirit will be like paint this and I'm like okay <laughs> and then I do some painting healing sessions too but this one is an actual portal. It is filled with Christ light. It is meant to be purchased by somebody, spirit said, and whoever does purchase it, it is your ascension. So this 
painting will cause an ascension. I don't think it will do it as you're looking at it on here, but they also said whoever does purchase it, be careful because it can cause those to go early where they're going if they're not ready, okay? So not only can it take you into 7D, this is the Pleiades portal. This is the portal of time, Pleiades 7D existence. It will also cause those that aren't meant to be, to begin to go the way they need to go. Okay, so it is a warning with it also. You can't fall into the wrong hands. But I just kind of wanted to give an insight into what this painting is. So it was pretty cool. I had no idea what it was. It was just coming through me. And then I had an exchange healing on one of my graduates. I'm like, I need a healing. And so every now and then they'll do an exchange on me. And in my healing, this came through and I was actually going through it. And you can kind of see he's shedding a whole pant leg and a shoe there missing. We have to shed things in order to ascend. Okay. So as we balance to this week, we have to, and we're going to continue doing this. You have to come into a space where you can balance in the new center. Okay. And just like Freya said, right, we have to make sure our CNS, our central nervous system is upgraded, not from 3D, but into 5D. DNA activations, excuse me, ego annihilation. And anytime any of these things happen, you have to rebalance and recenter. Okay. So I may help you balance and center today. And then a month from now, you get like 10 more activations. You're going to need to rebalance and recenter every time because we're coming into a masculine and feminine aspect of the world, which we were not before. Okay. Making, making the sense now. All right. So for today's, if you can put your feet on the floor, hands up for receptive mode and just relax. Let me do the work. You just be open to receive. So I need to just kind of relax your body. Begin to relax your body. Oh, Malachi is coming through with my DM energy, my DM energy. So he's not doing it for my DM. He wants me to reiterate that again. He is helping my DM align where he needs to be. Okay. So he's bringing in the masculine energy in a very big way. The Merkaba of the, of the earth is represented with my pyramid and my DMs pyramid. And we've talked about that before because I built one on my journey near Lake Titicaca. I've talked about this before and that is coming into the energy today. I'm gonna use this to help align you and activate you and center you to the new earth. All right, so that's what I'm doing. I'm going from Fiji where I activated the pyramid. It's also the God's portal and then Lake Titicaca Machu Picchu also is another pyramid I activated that one's coming up and Myanmar Myanmar is actually also coming into play that's another pyramid I had activated Myanmar Budapest Machu Picchu Brazil all of these portals are opening. These are pyramids I've activated through the ascension. They're opening to help align you. So it's going to recenter you. It's going to do a central nervous system upgrade for those who might be open to receiving it. So you have to be at a certain level and, and openness, but it's for you if it's there. If it's there, <laughs> if it's for you, it will happen today. And there will be DNA upgrades and an ego annihilation. Okay, and so whatever you need is going to help you today to recenter, rebalance. I'm going to be drawing a white light through you in the center. It's going to completely divide you in half, the masculine and feminine, to make them equal halves. Okay, so this is something new for some of us because we're coming from 3D where that was not the case. It was not masculine and feminine. They were snuffed out. It was a false goddess and a false masculine and the goddess was suppressed, okay? So just kind of take some deep breaths as I draw in the light from the heavens above. As all the angels and spirit guides and, and masters are surrounding all of you now. And draw the light down through your crown, into your third eye and through a causal chakra. I'm feeling some blockage here.
And going down into your throat with the light, down into your heart, down into your solar plexus, into your sacral, your navel area, and down into your root. And we're drawing the light down your arms and down your legs, down into the earth. And we're going directly to the crystalline grid. I cannot ground you to the core. Nobody can be. I have cut everybody off from the core. I don't care if they think they're grounded to the core. You are not. If you feel ungrounded, that's probably why. For now, the best thing to do is to continually ground to the crystalline grid. That's where all the Christ light is, the activations I've put in there. And that is also masculine and feminine together, combined, equal parts. So I'm taking all your connections and I'm literally like flooding them into the crystalline grid. And then the water layer from the earth is going to help bring in the balance. Okay. So all the pyramids that I've activated that I mentioned, Budapest, Myanmar, Machu Picchu, Brazil, Fiji, Lake Titicaca, all the energy is drawing in from those places now, and it's going to go into the crystalline grid. So I'm drawing all the energies from those activations. I just need you to be open and breathe. If you feel any tension, just release it with your breath. Or if you do like I do and burp, that's good. So all of these pyramids, there's light coming from it. It's a golden, translucent light. It's very golden in hue. It is Christ light filled as well. So be mindful. Some of you are getting your first rounds of Christ light today. This can be jarring. It is a necessity to detox for the energies coming forward because it will be very painful for some. Otherwise, Christ light is massive. It knocks out toxins and things that do not relate. Okay. So I'm drawing up this light from the crystalline grid, going all the way up into your feet, your ankles, your calves, your knees, your thighs. And that's all I need to do there. Now I'm drawing a specific light up and it's going to divide you right in half. This light is going to go completely through your centripetal force, your centripetal space, right through the middle of you. It's like drawing a central line on you, and half of you is masculine and half of you is feminine. And we're going to draw up the Christ light masculine with my DM and Malachi doing that part, drawing in the masculine energy into your left side, and I am drawing in the feminine energy into your right we are literally making you two halves, part masculine and part feminine, to help you find your centripetal force, your central location, your heart space in balance with the new earth, okay? So some of you need CNS, your central nervous system needs to be upgraded. A couple of you need a whole new central nervous system. I can't do that today. I've done that before in a workshop. Um, but I will start the process and the mapping for the healing to occur to bring you to that space, okay? And for everybody else, I can upgrade your central nervous system now. It's like drawing this line. And then what I'm doing now is I'm lighting up your CNS. I can see it. It's like almost like if I poured dye into it, changed it another color. And then I am sending all these lights through it and activating it with DNA for those that need it. And I am opening the center of you, of all of you. So we drew a line down the center from the pyramid activations, from the energy of the pyramids. Okay, they're all feminine, by the way. Then half of you on your left side is masculine, thanks to my DM and Malachi. And the other half of you is feminine from me. And as we're doing that, Whatever is needing to be annihilated of your ego will be annihilated. So warning, this is a gift that keeps on giving. You're getting Christ light, DNA activations, a new central nervous system if you can, or at least a preparation for one. And you're becoming in balance with the masculine and feminine. Now, some of you are so connected to third D, I can't go that far with it. But it is deconnecting some of you from the third dimensional reality and connecting you into the fourth dimensional and fifth dimensional and beyond the new earth energies. And so wherever you're at, you're getting what is for you 
either deconnecting from third dimensional, getting a new CNS upgrade, DNA activations, completely imbalanced into the center of you. I hope that makes sense. Now I'm going to do light language. And Malachi is going to ensure that my DM is echoing energetically what I'm doing to keep it in balance. Because he should be doing these things with me. That's what they're saying. Each mark he misses is hurting him in his heart space. But it, he doesn't have to, right? Just come, just show up. But his energy is essence is here. This is a scroll that I already have. So nobody's giving me the scroll. It's not being given to me by God this time. It's one I already have. So I'm going to read this. This is going to realign you from the center with masculine and feminine. It's that draw that, that line that drew up. Half of you is masculine, half of you is feminine. This is the yin and the yang. Okay, as we talk about, we are not dark and light. They don't compute, they don't vibrate together at all. We are masculine and feminine. That's what we're supposed to be. That's what we're meant to be through and through. Okay, now I've drawn in the light. The light language that I'm going to do is going to completely activate you and bring you to your center and allow you to continue to balance on the external from here moving forward. You're gonna see where you're out of balance so that you can correct it with ease and grace, okay? So as I speak, half will be lit up in blue and half will be lit up in pink. Boy, Boy, you could the umbu yakati, um book at the ya on the yow. Um book at the yow. Um book at the umbu yakati, um book at the oyo, um and they want me to rebalance the earth just a little bit more. So I am going into her core and I'm going to calm her energies just a little bit so they don't spew where they're not meant to. Boom, book I to Uncle Fuha. I get the umbu yo yo yo. Book at the ow, I get tea and book at the ow, I get two. Book at the e, book at the ow, book at the umbu e get thou. I'm helping her to spin a little bit on her axis. So nothing that isn't supposed to occur will not occur. Now I'm letting the energies do what they need to do from the light language I just put forth into all of you and into the earth. So just be still for a moment and allow your body to receive what it needs to receive because this was a lot in truth. Whatever was for you will be for you. But these can be powerful in truth. So if you become emotional and crazy things happen, give space. It is always meant for you. Some of you can feel like you have the flu when you receive Christ light activations as well. Time to own your truth, my friends. One more to draw up the light to the center. 
just to act. So it's going to illuminate your center path. Okay. It's going to show you now moving forward in your reality where you're out of balance from this moment forward. And I'm drawing up the light from Fiji. It's going all the way into your heart. And it will show you where you're out of balance in the masculine and feminine new world, not in the old world. So it may not make sense right away. Be an internal explorer in order to understand what is going to come your way. Now, I have brought in the pyramid energy today, but I cannot leave you all connected to it that massively. Only when you do healings with me can I do that in those moments of time. Usually you're disconnected right away. So I am now going to disconnect you from those pyramids energies. Does not mean you're disconnected from the earth. They're just very powerful and you need guidance when accessing them to say the least okay so not everybody can just touch them i don't care what anybody says can people receive through the earth yes in their own space and time and in layers okay when you do this work you bypass a lot with me still does not mean though that they can connect directly to those pyramids it comes through the crystalline grid in very big ways okay so just keep that in mind Is everybody different? Yes. Can some people tune in to the energies of the pyramids? Yeah. Can they really draw them into their system? Not usually. Some little bits. So it can be overwhelming. <laughs> be kind to yourself. You can go through a void where you can feel disconnected. It's all purposeful. Just be in love, be in truth, and follow those nudges that are for you. Give yourself space to rest. Stay hydrated. Very important. Okay? And if your body decides it doesn't want certain foods, please listen to it going forward. Because if we do not detox our systems now, we can be in trouble. And I'm pulling back my energy. I've closed off the energy of the pyramids that I drew in. And you will remain connected to the crystalline grid as a grounding. So that's where you're grounded to is the earth within their crystalline grid, which is masculine and feminine. So right now you are in balance. But on the external, you may see where you've been out of balance, and it's important that you physically create the changes needed to stay in balance in the new earth energies, not the old matrix ways, okay? So this can mean changes to your whole world in order to maintain balance. Go with the flow, surrender, do not assume, but trust. Can you trust what you cannot see? so much love to all of you that is your healing for this week okay um you can combine that with the lotus that i did last week that will actually help you because what you're doing is you're drawing down the light you're drawing up the light and you're balancing it in the body into the lotus okay you're creating strength within you very relevant also and can be used in conjunction with this one you could do these more than once and you can receive different things each time okay whether you see things or not, or you feel like you're receiving, trust me, you did. Okay, so just pay attention to what happens. If it's an emotional, if you start to feel angry, remember, it can be just things rising. Okay, do not hate people who are angry. It is a wound, All right? So much love. I hope you guys enjoy your week ahead. Until next time, please like and subscribe if you want more or to know who I really am or to see what's coming about on the Ascension, or to even guarantee your Ascension. I will see you all next time. You're right where you're supposed to be. Take care.